I'm John Meesman. Welcome once again to my video blog after a long hiatus. The title of my video blog today is Leaders Are Learners. I'm reading a book right now uh, called Your Personal MBA, Master the Art of Business. And the thesis of the book is you don't need a MBA, you need to get your own MBA by reading books and reading business periodicals. In fact, the, the book actually challenges the idea of even getting one. It's not easy. He claims it's not worth the money if you study uh, the results of getting an MBA versus not getting one and going to the workforce and not running up the, the student debt, that you shouldn't even bother with an MBA. I'm not going to challenge the, that thesis. I'm going to just look at the overall thesis of getting your own MBA because I'm going to assume that 99% of the people watching this video uh, do not have an MBA and are, are not considering applying to Harvard anytime soon. So let's talk about getting your own MBA by reading business books, reading business periodicals. Leaders are learners. Last year in November, I challenged my management team to read a business book a month. We all read the, the uh, same book and then we talk about the concepts at the next management meeting. First we started with Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek, great book. Talks about a leader's job uh, creating a safe environment for their people and when they put their people in the right position, they make their people feel safe they will get tremendous results. Great book. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, all-time classic. I believe it was written uh, right after the Great Depression. It gives you the, the key concepts of how to be successful and how to attain riches in life. What the mind can conceive and, the, and believe, the mind will achieve. This is the kind of book, it gives you a blueprint of how to succeed in life. I read it again uh, recently when I assigned it to the management team. I read it about 10 years before that. I pledged to read it every year, uh, once a year. It's that good of a book. The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, that's an amazing book too. If you lead people and you lead a team, you'll know that your team probably has some dysfunctions. This book will tell you about each dysfunction and break down what to do. The dysfunctions of, of the five dis dysfunctions of a team are uh, lack of trust, avoidance of accountability, lack of commitment, fear of conflict, and inattention to results. Well worth your time reading it. Uh, the other two books, The Greatest Salesman in the World, even if you're not in sales, gives you uh, 10 concepts. Basically in the book they give you 10 scrolls of how to live your life by, and if you do those things, you can be the greatest salesman in the world. But two of my favorite was Approach Everything You Do With Love In Your Heart, and the second was, one was Be The Master Of Your Emotions. And I think about that in the real estate profession, that buying and selling a house, it's an emotional process during the, during the negotiations, during the moving, during the closing. And oftentimes I see real estate professionals that are losing control of their emotions when, the, when they're supposed to be there for their clients to be the ones that are calm, cool, and collected. Master Your Emotions, a great book, the, great, the greatest salesman in the world. Finally, the fifth book that we're reading now is called The Millionaire Agent by Gary Keller. That one is just specific to real estate professionals. So if you're not in real estate, skip that book. But if you're in real estate, I recommend that. It's a great read. They studied millionaire agents, agents that uh, have netted a million dollars in the business and how they did it on an annual basis. Great books. Leaders are learners. I hope you enjoyed my video blog. Have a productive day.